everything that my silly little brain enjoys. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna be remaking some songs from an artist that's popping off, but we're gonna be remaking them in the wrong genre. These songs are fire though. The new album's a lot of like throwback to 90s and early 2000s. And I'm like thinking, what if Olivia Rodrigo was also a gamer? For sure her album would sound like uh... 172? Fingers crossed. I am light as a feather and as stiff as a board. Okay. Also the Filipino representation, we need more of that. What do we put a little bit of Midwest emo in there? Okay, maybe if I just do a chord progression first. Is that so funny when they're not held out? Sounds like Charlie Brown. I Oh wait, that's not right. Shh. Mm. Woo! And then the chorus hits. Forgive and I forget. Okay, but we'll we'll worry about that later. And if we're gonna do like actual break core, let's use some D and B breaks. Okay. Oh, it's got a bass in here. What am I doing? This right here, guys. This is all free. It's giving pop punk bass. Should we do quarter notes or eighth notes? Yeah, eighth notes. That's the rhythm I want. That's what I'm hearing in my head. All right, now we harmonize the guitar. Who said that earlier? Cause what a great idea. We have the guitars. Let's add in like a pad or something, maybe a brass. And we're just gonna layer everything. Just a bunch of different sounds. Maybe that horn might be too much. We can do some pads from Serum. No, not that. All right, that's cool. Then you can go like pitch, pitch it down. Okay, that's pretty good. And then also just literally have that sample play. Oh, just wait. Okay, and then like a vocal, a vocally one. Vapor? Ooh. Like... Then you loop and resample it. And then you put it into another sampler, turn it to sampler, set it to the right root note. Let's do our chords. Different sample start maybe. I had the wrong chord there. <laughs> You gotta get like the Yes! Forgive and I forget. I know my age and I act like it. Ooh, this is gonna be kinda nice. Wait. Okay, now here is where we add in the little uh boom boom. You know how the <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? This, like that. Let's put it in the intro. You know these things? Ah, yes. Then 
the bass guitar. <laughs> And here's where she does that scream that everyone on Twitter is clowning her for, but we're gonna make it work. Wait. Hold. So sick! Now I just need a lead guitar. I almost wanted an octave higher. Oh, we're getting like freaking shoegaze emo y now. Let's go. Pitch bends on the guitar lead. Could I just do that here? Oh, like at the end. At the end, we like make it go up. Does it work? Oh no! Reverb up. I almost want to make this like a super saw or something. Sometimes we do need a super saw, guys! It's just a wall of noise, man. chat we're back with another one and i definitely didn't put any loops in already but we are here with get him back and i think we're gonna do But before we get to that, if you've been on this channel, you know that DistroKid is the best way to release your music to streaming services like Apple Music and Spotify. But if you're looking to stick out from other independent artists, a great way to do that is to have a YouTube channel dedicated to your music. What's the advantage of this? Well, obviously having all your stuff in one place just makes it easier for people to find you. But through YouTube's algorithm, you have increased visibility through people searching, access to artist-specific tools and analytics inside the YouTube studio and the ability to keep all your stuff up to date. Is such a thing even possible with DistroKid? Yes, it is. As long as you already have a channel dedicated to your content, you can do this. Next, release a song on DistroKid and make sure you have YouTube music selected. This is all included with your DistroKid membership and you can get 7% off your first year if you use my VIP link. Having said that, as always, thank you DistroKid for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back to- Okay, let's make our intro. It's the one, baby. I met a guy in the summer and I liked him in the spring. He argued with me. 
we'll change it here. Let's give it 808. Oh, I could have just used the same thing from last song. No, we make everything from scratch every time. Sound designer. The amount of times I talk about not ever doing sound design, they would crucify me. More. God, this is so scoffed right now, guys! Oh, let's make a drum beat first, then let's do the 808s over top of it. This plus a clap? What do you think? Yes. No. Dude, the Dean Pelton from Community Flow is perfect for hyperpop. Let's friggin' chipmunk her. Another day, another dime, another rhyme, another dollar. And when he said something wrong, he just quite made a friend. So I miss him some nights when I'm feeling depressed. So I don't wanna get in the this, 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 step, step, step. Wait, okay, that's kind of sick. Chad, is this okay? It's a little busy. Needs to be busier. True. Hyper pop. <laughs> Wait, this could work. Oh, dude. I've got the dumbest idea for the chorus. Oh, I don't like that second chord. Start again. Maybe we do go down. What genre is this? Yes. Chords are kind of nice though. Who made those? She. Then it goes back into it. You know? Oh, I'm gonna get my Ableton license taken away. Tape stop right there. How do I automate this again? with this guys this is everything that my silly little brain enjoys <laughs> lo-fi beat oh my god yeah dude right now. <laughs> oh! another hit sir and i think we can do some kind of drop here this was the chorus this is the drop i already had drop in there. i have dropped like three times what's going on here right now right now is it british it's been sneaking into my brain because I've been making so much UK stuff. That's why it sounds British now. No, I've been England pilled. Soon I'll be saying stuff like bottle of water. It's the DNB, but DNB is too good. I can't not. I don't know where to go from here. Drum and bass. Fuck it. <laughs> Any goodwill that I brought to the UK with my Hamdi video was gone now. As soon as I put a drum and bass beat on hyper pop drums, it's it's done. No. Uh. 
pa 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 pa. No. <laughs> Music production, guys. Who'd have thought? That's what I'm hearing. Yo, okay. Maybe a Reese bass in the drum and bass part. Oh yeah. Do I understand Filipino? I do. I think we're gonna cut out that stutter drum. So it feels like it's ending, but then it's like, ah, kidding, got you. Tape stop. <laughs> Na intindihan mo ako? I sure do. The Reese and the subs are clashing a little bit. Ooh, what if we side chain it to the 808? Mm, big brain move, big brain moves. Yeah! Modulation's boring? Oh, true. I guess we could do more. I didn't really do a lot to this. You know? Yeah, no? Okay! Yo, stream team! Stream team always goes undefeated.